Kawhi Club Online, making a paperclip snowman bookmark. Hi, tweens. This month, we're going to make a very cute bookmark using a paperclip, some cardstock, and some baker string. <clears throat> In your kit, you'll find a half sheet of white cardstock, a couple of pieces of colorful paper, a couple of paper clips, some baker string, and a packet of colored pencils. To complete this, you may, uh, you'll need a pencil, some glue, some scissors, and you may want to use a black marker. All right, to start with, you are going to draw a couple of oval circles. I like the idea of my head being bigger than the body for my snowman to make it a little more kawaii. And you can cut it out. There's plenty of paper here if you screw up or uh, if you want to make two. And to make it easier on me uh, for cutting, I'm folding the paper in half. And then I'll have a perfect match when I cut. So I'm going to cut out my outline snowman here. You can make this any size as long as it's big enough to cover the uh, paper clip. So you can make your snowman to be bigger than the one I have. It's up to you. Once you are done cutting, you can put aside the white cardstock, trim any uneven edges, and you'll see you have two equal pieces that line up perfectly when you put them together. Make sure you have the sides together that you that are matched up. And then you can uh, measure against your paper clip, make sure that it'll fit like so. Yep. Once you're satisfied with that, you can draw your snowman face. I'm using a black marker to draw the face and then I'm gonna color in with the color pencils. And I'm going to add a scarf. It's just two black lines and then another little bit coming down off. And a couple of buttons. Perfect. On the back, you can leave it plain or you can um, add the back of the scarf. Make sure it matches up so you're drawing on the correct side. If you decide to decorate the back. So for the back I'm just doing a, two straight lines for the back of the scarf. Now I'm going to use my colored pencils and color in the carrot nose. And you can color your scarf whatever color you want. I'm choosing blue. that. And now I'm going to get my glue and I'm going to put some glue on each side and glue it to my paper clip. You can use stick glue, you can use um, regular school glue, um, just make sure you use enough. So I'm dropping it there. 
making sure my paper clip is centered. And you're going to want to press it down as it's drying to keep the paper clip secured. So I'm just using the, the glue stick as a weight while that dries. <clears throat> Excuse me, my allergies. All right, for your next step, you are going to draw your mittens using the same process as um, with the snowman. I'm going to out draw my mittens on the back of the colored paper. And I just kind of did an oval and then a little thumb and then a squared off bottom. Once again, I'm going to fold the paper over so that I get two equal sized mittens evenly matched. Again, you don't have to make your mittens very big. It's up to you the size that you want. And you can make your mittens all the same paper, or you can um, do one of each paper type like I did. The thumb's a little tricky part. If you make it very small, it can be a little hard to cut out. But Carefully, you don't cut your finger. There we go. So now I have my two mittens. And I'm going to take my string and I'm going to tie it on there with kind of a loose knot. You can see that by making a loop on one end, putting it through the bottom of the paper clip, and then I bring my other two ends through the loop and pull it tight. And that's just a very simple knot. <clears throat> but it leaves me with two ends free that I can glue my mittens onto. So again, taking my glue stick, I'm gonna put some glue on either side of my mitten. Putting it at the end of the string. My glue on the opposite side. Sticking it in place. A little piece of paper hanging there. All right. I have another pair of mittens that I had cut out earlier. I'm going to glue these on to the other end of the string. And the last thing that you're going to want to do is just make sure that your glue stick, your glued pieces are completely dry before you use it as a bookmark because you don't want any uh, wet glue sticking to your books. So let it dry and then you have your very Kawhi snowman bookmarks with hanging mittens. That is all for this month. I hope you enjoyed making it with me. Bye, tweens.